Hi, today I prepared for you very easy set of questions and here is our problem. In humans, curly hair is dominant over the straight hair. A woman heterozygous for uh, hair curl marries a man with straight hair and they have children. And question A, what is the genotype of the mother? So we may have uh, three different genotypes. That is going to be capital A, capital A and capital letter uh, usually designate um, dominant trait and we also may have capital A small a this is heterozygous condition and we may also have small a small a that is homozygous recessive condition and these two conditions here would produce uh, curly hair and this condition here would produce straight hair and we told that woman is heterozygous, so this is her genotype, and we can put it as an answer here for the question A. We put capital A, small a. Question B, what, is, what gametes uh, can she produce? And uh, these two alleles may segregate during meiosis to uh, capital A and small a. So she can produce two types of gametes with uh, capital A and small a. Question C, what is the genotype of the father? And uh, only small a, small a genotype can produce straight hairs. So uh, genotype of her uh, husband would be small a, small a or father of the child. So, uh, question D, what gametes can he produce? And this is going to be only one type of gamete, that is small a. Question E, what is the probability that the first child will have curly hair? And in order to solve this problem, we have to build a Punnett square. On one side we put uh, the mother of the child, that is going to be heterozygous for this trait, and we can... Uh, put sign for the female so on other side we can put uh, the father genotype or male genotype so now we build the Punnett square and now we would be able to find uh, probabilities so here we have small a capital A small a small a small a capital A and small a small a and you see that in 50% uh, of the progeny they would have curly hairs and in 50% of the progeny they would have children with straight hairs. So we may answer this question that the probability to have uh, a child with curly hair is uh, one half. And question F, what is the probability that the second child will have curly hair and uh, the probability each time would be the same. No matter what is the um, genotype of the first child, it doesn't affect the probability of the genotype of the second child and so on. So the answer would be also one half. Or also we may say that this is going to be 50% chances here and 50% chances here. So that's all for today. I hope uh, this video will be interesting to you and you were able to learn something new today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe to my new videos that I post almost every day. Goodbye.